Welcome back, music theory nerds. My name is Anthony, here to show you Unit 8, Lesson 31 of Alfred's Essentials of Music Theory. Okay, so you've already learned the first couple sharp scales and the first couple flat scales. And this lesson is about the remaining major scales with key signatures. Okay, so... Um, I'm assuming that you've kind of already read this, right? So if you haven't read this, pause now and just read everything. I just kind of want to point out a few things that you should, should really remember and memorize, okay? So the complete order of sharps in the key signature, F, C, G, D, A, E, B. A helpful reminder I like, fat cats go down alleys eating bread. I love it. You know, you can remember the order of sharps, so right? Like if you see... C sharp major, which has seven sharps, you can just put the sharps in order. Fat for F, cats go down alleys eating bread. All right, and all the sharps are in order. Okay, so the complete order of flats in the key signature is bead plus GCF. So right there, bead plus GCF. I always remember that as bead greatest common factor. Um, that's just how I learned it, so that's what's stuck in my head. You can Use that or not. Another thing you could do, if, if you remember either one of these, right? F, C, G, D, A, E, B, fat cats go down alleys eating bread, or B, the greatest common factor. If you flip it, it's the same, right? Look at B, greatest common factor, or fat cats go down alleys eating bread. So you don't really even have to remember both of them. All you got to remember is one of them, and then they're the same backwards. Also note that your enharmonic scales um, sound the same, but they're written differently. So there's some overlap there between B major and C flat major. Because if you look at your keyboard, uh, C flat is just a B on the keyboard. So those are gonna be enharmonic, which means they sound the same, but they're written differently. Same with F sharp major and G flat. C sharp major and D flat, okay? So here we go. Let's go quickly through this. Name the following major key signatures. Remember the rule for finding your key signatures. Take the last sharp and go up a half step for finding your sharp key signatures. So that's a G sharp, right? So what, what's up a half step from G sharp? That's going to be A. Boom. Now for the, the rule for flat is your second to last flat is the key signature. So find your second to last flat, which in this case is this one right here. We're in bass clef, so that's going to be an E flat. So your key signature is E flat. Okay, now here we go for the next one, four sharps, take the last sharp, go up a half step, we got D sharp here, go up to E, that's going to be E. Take your second to last flat, and that's going to be your key signature, second to last flat here is, boom, A flat. Oh. Your last sharp, go up a half step, your last sharp here is A sharp, go up a half step, that's going to be B. Here, your second to last is B flat. So, I'm sorry, D flat. I'm thinking treble clef, we're in bass clef. Your second to last is going to be D flat. So this is your D flat key signature. Um, write the following key signatures, okay? So what you wanna do here is, this is where you gotta kinda of remember the orders, right? So B, the greatest common factor, your E flat major key signature. If you need to go up here and look, that's fine to try to remember at first. Okay, so we know E flat majors are three flats. What are the three flats? B, the greatest common factor. So it's gonna be B flat, E flat, followed by your A flat. There you go. E major, okay, now we're in bass clef. E major, I just know has four sharps. You know, we could look up there or, um, Another way you could think of that is hmm, E major. So E major we know is a sharp key because it's not a flat key. So if it's E major, what would be a half step down from E? And that would be D sharp for our last sharp. So our last sharp is going to be D sharp. Hmm. So hmm, D sharp, it's going to be four sharps. I hope that makes sense. So you know, you go a half step down from it, which gives you your last sharp. And then you reference, hmm, the last sharp. Oh, wait, wait, I'm sorry, I'm looking at the flats, the order of flats. So then you look at the order of sharps, and uh, 
D sharp would be your fourth sharp, so you know that your E major is going to have four sharps. That's just one way you can look at it. Personally, I find it best to just um, memorize your key signatures. Whoa, memorize your key signatures? How are we going to do that? Flashcards are helpful. Um, you can study this, but I think flashcards are the way to go. You can pick up packs. Uh, Elford's Essentials of Music Theory actually has packs of these flashcards that you can buy. So go ahead and get yourself a pack of them. There's apps you can use. There's all kinds of ways, but the best way is just to memorize your key signatures. you got to memorize them. All right, next one. A flat major. Okay, so we know that's got four flats. You could either look up here or you could find it however you want to find it. So B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, B, E, A, D. See, bead, greatest common factor. And since we know A flat major has four flats, boom. All right, C sharp major, okay. One way to easily remember it C, the, is, is your C sharp and your C flat. Those are always going to have seven. So you can remember that just by remembering, oh, if it's C sharp or C flat, that's seven. So let's do it. Seven sharps. Fat, cats, go, down, alleys. Let's see where we're going to go. Just trying to think of a, yeah, I'm gonna go down. Fat guys go down alleys. I couldn't remember if okay, fat guys go down alleys eating bread. There we go. So that's a row of two, row of three, row of two. I just couldn't for some reason I spaced on how to write that out. Okay. Next one, C flat major. Just remember bead, greatest common factor. So B E A. D, greatest common factor. That's your flat, seven flats. A major, hmm, what's a half step down from A major? And, and you know that if it doesn't have a flat, it's gonna be a sharp key signature. So A major, hmm, what is it? Go a half step down from A major, what's that gonna be? G sharp, right? So we know G sharp's gonna be our last sharp, so let's look at our order of sharps. F. See, G is the third sharp, so we know that we're going to have to have the ones before it as well. So F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp is our key signature here. F sharp, C sharp, G sharp. Hope that helps you check your answers. As always, you should have done the work before you look at the video. Um, memorize your key signatures. I can't stress that enough. Um, if you're working on book two of Alfred's Essentials of Music Theory, um, that's what this one is, unless you have the complete book. This is part of book two. The biggest thing that you can get out of book two is to memorize your key signatures. You really, really need to know your key signatures. I cannot stress that enough. Memorize as fast as possible. Thank you and good luck.